College isn't just a college it's sort of like a community service center like we really like um, do a lot of community activities and that's our main focus is the community because you know what are we without them right so um, so that's a lot of, of what we do and um, that's actually part of the new campus also it's a log cabin that was put up for us and they're um, gonna put the bookstore in there and um, like a gift shop and then they hold pottery classes on the lower level of that. And you're going to count. We'll be like five on each side, and your sixth one that's going to be on top, that's the one you go to. Yeah, you have that go, because that's going to be So count five on this side, five on this side. Sixth one. And that's the one you're gonna go to. Okay. No, like this. Like that. Yeah, like that. And then you start your next row. Okay. Your next one. This is hard. Yes. Not the only one. Okay. Oh, so it's Yeah. Nice. This will actually circle down. Bless you. Bless you. And then you, oh, you never sell it inside there. Okay. Okay. Oh, eight. It's really hard to thread if you have to buy it. I'm going to do it myself. Yeah, one more. It's a big board. Uh, that. Go down, go back up. left the ground and uh, now I'm going to say a prayer so I want everybody to, uh, to, to say the prayer in your heart when I took a slow country, I took a lot of money, you were a chit of the air, you were. Took a slow country, who shimmer on the air, now, my poor. Now, Peter, you know, I took you away once, you know, home is that you were. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Are you going to join us for the day? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Thank you. Good. Yeah. Thank you. which means I teach people how to use plants 
um, mostly like in the Lakota tradition, but I know about plants all over the place now, um, <laughs> uh, for food, medicine, ceremony, whatever, um, whether it's material uses, etc. You know, I, I know the type of the species of tree that was used to make tea peoples, for instance, things like that. Um, you know, and then all the different kinds of food plants that are all over the plains, all of that. And so one of the things that I think is really important is this idea that uh, traditional culture, traditional science, is not complete without Western science also. The scientific method is just as valid and just as important to me as Lakota science and vice versa. Um, because I think that in, in the Lakota philosophy there's something called holism, which is to be holistic. Right, which is meaning that you take everything, right? You you take you take everything as a whole. You don't try to separate it into a bunch of little parts. Um, so, for instance, when modern medicine finds a plant that, for instance, the Lakota have been using for thousands of years to treat colds and flus, um, modern medicine will take that plant and rotovap it in a lab, and you know, crush it up and pull out one compound of that plant. Right? There's over 500 compounds in Echinacea which is a purple coneflower plant that grows around here. Um, there's five, over 500 compounds in that plant. Modern science will try to pull out one and say, oh, hey, maybe this is the magic bullet, the one that like, helps you guys with your colds and flus. Mm -hmm. Well, what we try to say is, no, it's holistic. The whole plant, including the spirit of the plant, all work together to heal you. It's not just, there's no magic bullet. <laughs> this is Artemisia frigida, or the fringe sage, okay? And you can see how fringy it looks, but it still is that silvery sort of gray color, right? Um, most of it, anyway. <laughs> uh, I'll pass it around so you guys can smell it or you can pick some. This is truly the women's medicine, or the women's plant. This is a plant that I send boxes to of to my mother in Ohio who's going through menopause <laughs> because this is um, you boil it down and then you pour the water in the bathtub for a woman who's having hot flashes or um, a woman who's having those kinds of hot flashes and stuff and literally my mother says she can just feel her whole body cool down <laughs> Today we have students from the University of Dayton who have worked very hard, actually this is their third trip out, worked very hard for three years. We have some new members to the family. Uh, we work with a lot of young people in Dayton and we have some young people who came from Patterson Kennedy, uh, a school who would like to build relations. Of course, Gali is back and um, like I said, this is just representative. We have a community in Pennsylvania. So I don't want to make this too long, but I just want you to know how big this family is. 